Mr Deputy Speaker, we all know, though, that over the long term, the best solution to this crisis would be a vaccine. And here I'm delighted to say that Britain continues to lead the world. Two of the leading vaccine developments are taking place in this country at Oxford and Imperial, both supported by government funding and the British life science industry. Today, Oxford published a very encouraging report in The Lancet showing that its phase one and two trials are proceeding well. I can report to the House that the trial shows that the Oxford vaccine produces a strong immunity response in patients in terms of both antibody production and T-cell responses, and that no safety concerns have been identified. This is promising news, and it takes us one step closer to finding a vaccine that could potentially save lives all around the world. 